What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case anybody is new here. And if you're new here, hey, be so kind. Just let me know that you're new here. Comment below and say, hey, I'm new here. Let's get involved. Anyways, okay, so what we're gonna be doing today is going over somewhat of like a, a small account, what do you call it? Like, I don't know, a, not a recap, but challenge. I don't know, it wasn't a challenge. No one was challenging me. It's not, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a challenging thing. Okay, anyways, guys, I, I ramble. I apologize. If you're new here, that's the first heads up, but at least sometimes there's some humor in it on occasion. Okay, so jumping into it here now, we're going to be doing like a small account thing. We're going to, I'm basically showing you guys how I turn $600 into $5,000 in like a week, uh, five days, maybe six days, in, in, in less than a week. How about we'll say that? Less than a week. So here's how it went down. Now, I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to hide anything here because, you know, but first we got to establish that because, you know, there's going to be the naysayers. They're already commenting before they even finish watching the video. We're going to be going over a five-day period, the 18th through the 23rd, but I'm going to just real quickly show you guys just because, you know, there's going to be somebody that says, look, nothing's hiding. It's all the same um, because there's going to be somebody that says, yeah, but I bet you guys, look, he trade like right after that one, he put, he went and put his entire account into one trade and then like it just went to zero and yeah, he just wanted to make a YouTube video and you know so i just wanted to put that there um but i am going to keep it from the 18th to the 23rd because that's what we're talking about here now i was supposed to make this video for you guys on the 23rd or on the 24th but life just happens you know what i mean it's like christmas around that time you got the 24th and 25th christmas christmas eve and then uh you know unfortunately a few things were going on in my life at the time that you know not to bring everybody's mood down and all that if you follow me on instagram you already probably know uh, or you will know, or you just go peep my Instagram, you'll find out. Anyway, so moving forward, long story short, life hits you in the face sometimes, you know? And then the new year comes. Uh, but anyway, so I was going and I was updating the watch list for tomorrow. You see, it's Sunday, January 3rd here. And I realized, shoot, man, I never even made that video for them. So uh, I'm actually even in the car right now as I'm making it for you. Look, I honked the horn. Sorry, just in case maybe you heard it or not. Okay, I'm just in the parking lot honk, honking around. Okay, so... Um, this a little bit of a delayed video. I apologize. And this is my rambling as well, but it's not just rambling. It's explaining. I'm, I'm, I'm painting a picture for you guys here. So one last picture to paint before I start breaking things down for you guys is that, well, one, uh, well, maybe two more pictures. We're going to go in terms of one day at a time. So I'm going to go down to December 18th to 18th and 18th to 19th and 19th to 20th. I think that might be a good way to explain it to you guys. But let me also give one disclaimer here. I don't want people thinking that, oh yeah, you know, he's just out here putting $600 into an account every month and trading with that. Um, and I don't want you guys thinking like, oh, this is an everyday thing. It's not a not everyday thing, but it's not an everyday thing either. You know, I don't want you guys thinking that you're going to be completely brand new to this. You're going to go take $600, put it into the market, and this is going to happen to you. Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? No. But how do you increase your probability? By learning and by knowing what you're doing. For example, if I didn't know what I was doing and I just blindly came in here, I probably wouldn't have done like this or done this well. Who knows? Maybe I would have done better. I don't know. You never know. Um, I like to be fair. So that, that's just that disclaimer. The reason why I was doing this is it's something I like to do towards the end of each year, you can go back and look at my history of my videos. I did it last year, the year before that, and it just various different, you know, it's just something I like to do. The reason is because I like to move money around at the end of the year and just make sure that I have everything properly accounted for and documented. Um, so I like to either with my trading, like consolidate it into one account, or if I'm even wiring some of it out of my account into like a normal bank account, what I do is how do I put this? Because it's not just with trading. It's like with real life in general. Like, for example, if somebody gives me a gift, uh, you know, like back in the day, let's say if I got like, you know, $150 as a gift, I, I got 100 If I was really being disciplined, I got 50 You get what I'm saying? So the way I treat things like with everything in life, but we're just going to say trading here, is that I, if I have $45,600, I have $45,000. I leave that 600 as like, oh yeah, hey, it's just, you know, just in case, you know, pretend you don't have it, blah, 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 just as like a safety net because that's just what I like to do. You know, I like to randomly find money in different places, you know? Um, so anyways, that's, that's besides the fact. So that's what happened here is I kind of like wired the majority of my money out of the account and I left like $620 in the account. And like I said, this is what I like to do at the end of the year usually. 
Uh, I just like to play with that money and see what we got left. You know, sometimes it might be $200, might be 600, 500, 400, whatever it is, and just, you know, build a small account, like a little small account challenge just to make the video for people and just kind of like, you know, show people what's possible within the market. And I know that there's a lot of beginners out there. So I don't, I, I know people like to guide people to go to penny stocks and just random things like that. I want to kind of show you guys how you can trade real things. Um, so anyways, now that I give, like, gave you guys a whole five minute intro here, uh, let's go ahead and break it down. Like I said, so my account had around like $620 in it. Let's just say 600 for the sake of simplicity here. And what we did was over a five day period. And again, like I said, I showed you guys, don't panic. I don't want to, oh my God. Yeah. He placed a trade right after and lost it all. No, that's not, you know, it's not the case here. This is, you know, normal trading, I guess you can say, which it, it is doable. So anyways, enough rambling. We're going to go and we're going to go to the 18th, 18th to 18th. This is the first trade. It was a call on Airbnb. I had three contracts. And long story short, the trade cost $602. So I put $602 in and I got 987 out. We made $385 profit. That was the profit on it. It was a 64% gain. Uh, but that, that's besides the fact. Don't look at the percentage because that gets mixed up sometimes and all that. But just look at the, pr the profit. So the first trade is we came in. Let's say we put $600 into a trading account. We bought a call for $600 and we sold it and made a profit of $385. So now we have $987 into the account. Go to the next day. Okay, nothing happened the next day. Nothing happened the next day. Okay, so maybe this was either a weekend or like I say, you don't have to trade every single day. You trade only whenever you see a good setup. So, sorry for the ding in there, guys. I apologize. Um, so only trade when you see a good setup. So either it's the weekend here or maybe I just didn't want to trade that day or whatever it is. Now here's the next trade. So first trade, we put 600 in, made 385 profit. So we have 987 in the account, let's say. Of that, we're now on to our second trade, which is Airbnb again, but on a different day, obviously. Now this trade we opened on the 21st. So the first trade we opened on the 17th and closed on the 18th. Second trade was on the 21st and closed on the 21st. So this one was a day trade. And again, we were trading Airbnb. What we were trading doesn't matter. Long story short, we put $941 into the trade and we sold it for $2,350. We had a $1,400 profit on this trade. And obviously, you know, 149% gain on that. Obviously, you know, this is this is possible because we're trading options here. You're not really going to be seeing 150% gains all the times here and that if you're trading shares. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with trading shares as well either. Go look at my other videos. You'll see that I was trading shares around this time as well. You could definitely do both. Um, so anyways, moving forward here. So as you guys can see, so first trade, $600 cost. We put in 600, got out 987. We put in 941 on the second trade. We got out 2,550. I'm sorry, 2,350. Moving forward now to the 22nd, now we're trading Netflix, we're trading puts. So puts means you make money when the stock goes down. So the good thing about is it, this is that you guys are seeing so many different dynamics as well. You see me making money when the stock is going up, you see me switching it around, making it when the stock goes down, and you see us doing a little bit of a swing trade, a little bit of a day trade, this, that, and the other. Um, so just trying to kind of, how do I put this? Just trying to highlight all of the main uh, points for you guys here, if you will. So <clears throat> moving forward now, we're gonna go to, I apologize, we're already here. So we took that 2,350, and of that, we put 2,000 into a new trade, in which we sold for 2,500. Nothing too crazy. We had a $470 profit there. Now to kind of like break it down, uh, I believe I got into this trade into two different orders. It was like, you know, I had three contracts and then, uh, you know, I sold two and then sold one of them separately. So that's why it's broken up here. But either way, this was also a day trade here on the 22nd. Um, if, if you want to see it all broken up, you can, but it it's just better for the sake of showing you guys that we're building a small account that I just show it to you guys like this. We don't need to go. You go watch some of my other videos if you want to see the individual types of trade breakdowns and all of that. That's what that'll be good for. So we're going to try and keep it very specific here, just showing you how we built the small account, if you will. So this trade, we put in 2000 got back 2500 So we made a $470 profit there. Then moving forward to the 23rd, now we have BABA. 
On this one, I had a total of 45 contracts. Again, that doesn't really matter. The cost of the trade was 2,500. So basically we took the 2,500 that we got back from that trade, put it into another trade here. And we sold that for a profit of 2,150 here. So we put in 2,589 and we got back 4,739. Now, remember, we started with 600, right? And we made a total profit, as you guys can see here, of 4,400. So in the matter of one week or five days even, less than a week, I was able to turn $600 into $5,000 because, you know, we made $4,400 plus the $600 we started with. That means the account is at $5,000 right now. Again, I'm not trying to show this. I'm not saying, okay, now go buy my course right away. I'm not saying, you know, I'm just trying to show this to either motivate people, to show you guys it's possible. Um, that, that's pretty much that and just kind of documenting everything here. Um, really, there's not much more that goes into it. If you do want to learn how to do this, hey, then my, my course, I'll put the description, the link in the description below, but that's pretty much that. I'm not going to try and talk you guys into it here and start pulling out, you know, the cars and all of this and all that. I'm um, just showing you guys, hey, there's $600. This is what we did with it. And outcome was 5000 And again, just because, like I said, I don't want anyone thinking, oh my God, no, he went and did this and did that and he lost all the money right away. No, I didn't, you know. Um, I don't. I didn't do many more trades on this one here. Um, I think if I did any more trades at the, throughout the end of the year, I think I did one more and I have a YouTube video of, up on it. It's probably gonna be the one prior to this one. Uh, it was on my shares account. Um, but that's pretty much that, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here. I might have, I might check back in. I might cut the video here and say, oh man, you forgot to say this, you forgot to say that. But if not, here's my ending note. Just thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, if you learned anything, just please hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, comment down below. Just help us grow. You know what I mean? We're not growing and it doesn't really matter if we grow or not. As long as you guys enjoy the video, that's all that matters. I appreciate you guys and I want to wish you guys a wonderful, happy new year and just, you know, that's it. We'll wrap it up here. Just have a great rest of you guys' day, great rest of your night. Maybe it's night where you're at and just have a great rest of your life and I'll talk to you guys soon.